Welcome to my Portugal journal flip through. I had two weeks in Portugal and the first week I was exploring with my husband and some friends and the second week was sketching Portugal. And I've completed my journal. This is modeling paste put on with a stencil. And then I painted the entire cover and spine with gesso. This is what the book like looked like before the paint. And after the gesso dried, I could embellish it as I wanted. This is just some gold uh, acrylic paint just rubbed on to the stencil area. And I used the little bookmark, the fabric bookmark, the ribbon that was here to just tie on some little objects that I bought in Portugal. And here we go. So I always like to start a travel journal with a map and my packing plan. And then of course the reality, which is often different. And you're going to see a, a bit of this washi tape, which is um, representing the different tiles on a lot of pages, because as I finish my travel journal, if I see a big empty spot and I'm not sure how to tie it together, I'll, I'll often use a graphic element. And that was one that you'll see throughout. So this is the beginning of the trip. And in Porto, seeing this great vendor, I was going to fill it in with color, but decided to leave him alone. And here's that washi tape just kind of filling in that on that page. And then I love working in these vignettes for different little objects. There was a lot of great laundry hanging and I, that's such a great graphic. That was fun. And then going to the Duro Valley and drawing that from memory actually. Our travel companions and then in this crazy town right on the beach there's all these striped houses. That was really fun. And then I found some shells. And then this was the view out our window in Porto in the uh, hotel. And I love doing just a real easy, um, almost an outline of the edge of the skyline. Uh, it just quiets the noise a little bit and helps me just capture that moment. And here's that tape again. And then one of my students dubbed this the peekaboo style, and I really enjoyed that and used it throughout the book where the cityscape is kind of complicated. So if you just do the middle section, that worked out great. And then this was a photograph um, that I worked from of a woman we saw in a small fishing village. And here's that same skyline treatment out the view from my hotel in Lisbon with a little additional information just to remind me of that beautiful, incredible hill and the ocean. And then here's a couple of days in Lisbon. I had the day Friday to myself. Here's the tape dividing the days and then uh, did a scouting day on Saturday that included a beautiful stop by the beach. And then our sketching Portugal trip started and here are the intrepid students. They were such a great group. And this is one of my favorite pages. This is a conversation collage. Um, I like to write down just some great phrases and whatnot that uh, just help me remember the people and the information. I did not like what was happening on this spread. I kept overdoing it and overdoing it, so I finally decided to glue some white paper down and create a big map because I really needed to figure out exactly where we were in Portugal. Um, so our first week was up here. Our second week with my students came down through the Algarve and back up, and I'm much happier with this spread now that it's a map. So that's a piece that you can actually glue. Here's another piece of watercolor that um, this watercolor paper was um, was done separately and then I glued it in. So um, that's one thing with travel journaling is if you're not crazy about a page, you can always put something on top of it. Here's a favorite thing, which was um, using contour line to draw a fabulous meal when we were all together. And oh yeah, it rained a lot. So you'll see a number of umbrellas show up. Uh, a quick sketch of a palace in the rain. Here you see people with umbrellas underneath this beautiful archway. And uh, this wonderful vineyard where um, we, we went to where the sun came out just long enough for us to have a picnic out there and, and view this. It was really special. And um, I love the, the streets that have their own mosaic work on the sidewalk. That was really fun. And again, just a small slice of an architectural detail, but that reminds me of that whole village. And this was a mural in a little coffee shop. We went to the Chapel of Bones. It was, you know, too much, but I didn't want to draw the whole thing, so I just did that one little indication. Another fabulous lunch. Again, unfortunately, it was raining, so we were inside sketching. 
um, another piece of watercolor paper glued on. And then this was a fun challenge that I gave students to sketch it in five lines. And I added the watercolor later, but the five line challenge is great fun. <clears throat> And then this also was a sketch I was set up to do, but it started to rain. I'm leaving this blank just to remind me of being interrupted by the rain once again. And then I had some great pictures of the wine that we had on that picnic in the vineyard and a couple of juices that we bought. Here was our intrepid tour guide that we just adored. And we all met this wonderful dog up on the, uh, at the picnic. And we were amazed to see storks and then this was a view from the bus. I decided to leave it black and white and just put in the um, objects so I could remember having seen orange trees and palm trees and cypress trees and wind turbines. And then a view of the sunrise uh, from my hotel room in, down in the Algarve and one of the land snail, snails. And uh, some collage items. One of my students gave me some fun little bits to add to my book, so I enjoyed that and more umbrellas, and um, just some sketching of, of some things that I purchased while there. And then a final adventure. Now, you'll notice that I'm using some actual photographs. This one I printed out when I got home. Some others I print on my little portable printer. I think it's wonderful to use photos and really encourage you. This is our intrepid tour guide, Joao. And yeah, I could do a sketch of him, but I would I would really struggle with it, and I just wanted to get a good image of him sort of talking about this building. And here is our group in two different locations. And yeah, I think using the photographs actually work better than doing any kind of sketch of those people. And then someone took a picture of me and I added that. And my last page is always the, the list that I like to keep, the people I met that I felt like I had a heart connection with, things I did not buy. This is my favorite list. Um, some of the highlights and what to pack in the future. And then this is a picture with the portable printer. I invited students to do selfies and play with those. And then this is a handwritten itinerary of the entire two weeks and that picture really sums it up. That's me with my umbrella blown upside down and some other students in the rain. Yes, we had a lot of rain. And I've got some ephemera that I'm not using that I want to keep in the back here. And that's my book. And I'm very excited to get that finished and share with you.